some guys so I thought I'd make a spontaneous video I was practicing this morning and I was doing the Kriya for creativity from my teacher Hadi Kitten's book called Art and Yoga and if you haven't heard of the book or if you don't have it you should definitely get it because it's a beautiful um, healing tool for people who consider themselves artists or not so anyway I was practicing this Kriya and I sat down before I practice and I felt intuitively called to draw an image of how I thought I was in that moment energetically so I drew an image of myself which was interesting because it wasn't my body it was sort of you know all of these wavy lines and I thought huh that's really beautiful I sort of intellectually on some level know that I am this beautiful vibrant infinite energy but I don't really feel it in this moment so this I was before I was just you know getting up and having my tea and sitting down to practice and so I noticed that that I had that feeling that I could see my infinite see my infinite self but not really feel it and then I practiced and with each movement and each breath I had the opportunity to go deeper and deeper inside myself and then at the end I just had this moment this sensation where that experience not only was I experiencing that palpable vibrating infinite energy of myself but it was new and I realized that it's always new every time we experience that anything we think we know something that we've gathered from the past some past experience or some past version of ourself or piece of knowledge whether it's something that we've learned from a book or if something we've experienced does it apply does it function in the present moment can you is it new is it valuable again in each moment and if the answer is no then perhaps you never learned it and that brings up the question when we come to the energetic spiritual healing and experiences and growth that we go through when we practice for example kundalini yoga but it could be any spiritual practice oftentimes people are trying to get back to an experience that they had so you are sitting in meditation one day and you have this just mind shatteringly expansive experience of yourself and then you maybe you spend two years chasing that experience experience trying to get it back and it asks of us to let go of the need to know letting go of the need to acquire that knowledge in the first place that you know hold that on and make it a part of ourselves make it a part of ourselves and it's actually when we let go of all that and we come to our practice in a state of just grace and openness and acceptance and presence then all those experiences that come to us, whether they're positive, whether they're positive or negative, they become the truth. They become the knowledge. And that's why we continue to practice so that we're reminded that we never really own anything. We can't hold on to a thing. It's everything is us. And yet, as soon as we try to, oh, I need that. Oh, that makes me better. Oh, that's such a that's such an amazing insight. I'm gonna hold on to that. As soon as you do that, you sort of like it's like cutting off your arm. <laughs> it's like cutting off your arm because you think it's going to, you know, do something else for you. You think it's gonna heal you or make you stronger or something. And actually, you're just weakening yourself. So, here's my my image that I drew afterwards my little my little drawing and that was just coming from the experience of the moment and the richness of the moment and one of the beautiful things about doing this kind of drawing when you, with your practice is 
it's different every time because things are always shifting and each moment we have the opportunity to become more and more and more present with ourselves and then we become more ourselves. Thank you for listening. Satnam. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm launching a second round of this amazing Kundalini Yoga and Creativity program for women this weekend. It's called Restoring Power. If you're interested, please check it out in the link. Um, yeah, lots of wild presence and coming into an understanding and a meeting with the mysteries inside of us and all around us. Thank you.